Hello and good morning. So we've had a few years asking what happened to the catfish trap. So we left it for over a week and we're gonna go and see what's, if, if there's anything in there. Hopefully there is, who knows? So we're back on the farm again. I've got a happy new haircut. He must have thought I was about 16, did he? He put like a line in it. But when I get my hair cut in different countries, I normally like to see what they're gonna come up with and just let them go. And, uh, ah, it's not too bad I suppose, is it? Could be worse. The boys have got the bags for the mangoes, yet again. If there's any left, I don't know if there will, will be. Because it's been over a week, you know, since I got last came. But my, my, my dad asked me, my mum asked me, I had a couple of comments asking me what's happened to the fish. And no one knows because we just left the trap. So it might be absolutely overflown with fish and crabs, or we're going to be severely let down yet again. It's been rather stormy, old dogs. It's okay, you're okay. These dogs just come running up on us there like, woof! Hard skipped the beat a little bit. Didn't expect that. Turned around and they were there barking. Come from nowhere. My heart is racing. I honestly thought they were going to bite us there like, well, we're surrounded by dogs. I've mentioned on one of my videos before about dogs. Like you have to uh, watch it in Thailand because there's a few of them. So you got you have to you, have, you do have to be careful with the dogs and these three just come running up on us. My heart was racing, but you have to sort of like I've got these three to look after, so you've got to kick them. Best got to stick now anyway, so we're all right. They've, they've shied off. They're not too bad. It's been really humid over the last couple of days, like muggy, clammy, horrible, sweaty weather, and uh, it needed a good rain, so I've done that this morning. It's going to really rain heavy today, but at the minute there's a nice cool breeze. The air's nice and fresh and clean and it's like ideal time to be out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dogs now surrounding us. It's okay when we get to the farm I'll pick up a, a stick. <laughs> there's a few. Do you know what'll scare them? My drone. Dogs do not like drones. The sound of it, they do. They are quite loud. Let's see that eh? Scratch that idea, I didn't take Car's phone. For some reason, my phone will not connect to the drone controller. I think the iPhone's come a little bit loose. Anyway, we'll be all right, they're running. They're off, they're running, look. I'm good about my drone, like. I always forget something. There's that much to bring out. So come on in. I want to know what your thoughts are. Do you think there's gonna be fish in this little bucket or what? Come on, what do you think? Nine ten what? Uh, ten, mango. ten mangoes. Yeah. You want ten mangoes? Yeah. You know what the happiest Larry coming to the farm. I know it's not exactly riveting, but the boys love it at the farm. So do I actually. I just like getting out of the house. By the way, thank you for likes, for watching my videos, and thanks for leaving comments. I appreciate it. I quite like interacting with you all. I give you the bag, son. Yes. Uh, I got a message in. How we we goods not bad after all the breakfast that you had. I know it's a mad concoction for breakfast and we, we us uh, Brits and are used to baking and eggs but you get used to it and I quite enjoy it, it's the biggest meal of the day over here that's why you have so much and you don't tend to eat as much on the afternoon because of the heat I think I apologise again for forgetting, your, well for not writing your name down but I'm starting to get a few more messages off people now ah, I quite like it Come on boys, what do you think? Oh, friggin' ants! That Ants! Come here! Come on, run, 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 run! <laughs> Mud. <laughs> Mud means ants. I know I've been taught about these ants before, right? But that bag's been on the floor two seconds. The vicious, the vicious little things they are. What? What? <laughs> what? What's happened? Mud. Mud by Tati. There's a bit of touch. There's a bit of touch. You touch? Vicious they are. Right, anyway, moment of truth. Keeping away from these ants. They jump at you, they swear it down. They jump, they jump, they jump off the trees and land on your neck and bite you. Frogs, ah! Small frogs. Ah, get off. You know what, I wish I just left the trap. Have we got anything in there? This is what we've got. I don't know what that is, but it's certainly not a fish. The lads might know what it is, I don't know what that is. You know what's in there? Eels. What is it? Manga. A what? Menga. Menga. <laughs> it's the smell. It stinks. Die. Yeah, you've got a couple of eels. Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like that eels at that eel, or that eels at that crab. And I don't know what that is. But it stinks. I'm not gonna lie. 
So there's stuff in there, I chew those stuff in there. No catfish, but that is humping. Stinks really bad. Uh, and I'm getting out of here because there's stuff that bites you. Do you only think with Thailand and different countries? You say what you want about England, but hardly anything bites you apart from a dog. There's your answer. No fish, but we've got one, two eels, a crab, and a couple of like scorpion looking things that are running back into the water now. But I've always watched like Bear grills and that and thought, I could do that, no problem. You know, like when I get stranded on an island and think, I'd do that, hunter gather and all that. After a week, I've got a little lousy crab, an eel that's half eaten, and another eel. Mind you, I could do with going on one of them islands for a bit. I'm putting some serious, I'm putting some weight on actually, to be honest with you. Lotus flowers. Keep one on me. What, a lotus flower? Do you, want, do you want me to get one? Oh, isn't that sweet? The boys want me to get a flower for the mum. I will, I'll just say it was my idea. Well, run, jump. <laughs> so I have to get a flower for car. It's a good idea, they're quite nice. Have you heard me, they're quite nice. Ah, you f did. F off. They do hurt like. They bite. They do bite your ants, yeah? And the vicious little gets. Every time you get a mango, you pull it down, the ants sort of jump at you and land on your head, and then they just go down your back and all sorts of stuff. Ethan's got a flower for Mammy, haven't you? You're going to give it to Mammy? Good boy. Bit of improvisation, you can't reach the mango. Go on, get it. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> I think that's a better idea. The big one goes down. Oh, I could just go over there, like, but what's the point in that? You, you lose the comedy, don't you? <laughs> oh, you need an oh. I think I better go and help them, don't you? Here you this one. So start the thunder and lightning. I told you it was an angry sky today. The boys are, the boys are running off, leaving me carry the mangoes. Father Hood, eh? Excellent job. But I will be trying that trick again. I will not give in. I think it will work. It obviously does work some type of way because there was things in there, wasn't it? So it did actually work, didn't it? When you think about it. So when there's more fish, I did a video before, fishing Thai style where we drained all the water and we jump in and we get the fish out by hand. So we did take a lot of fish out of there. By Christmas, it should be full because like you see now with the rainy seasons running away. But this microphone won't be able to pick it up. But in the background, it's over that way. I've got my, hand, my other hand full of mangoes. But over that way, over yonder, I can see flashes. It's getting darker and darker by the minute. So I quite fancy spicy noodles for breakfast. Thinking about it, rather that or kapow. Did you hear that? Run! The heavens are due to open, that's for sure. I'm gonna leave it at that for now and I'll show you what we're getting for breakfast. Let's see you in a bit, right? This is one of our five star restaurants that we've got here in Thailand. You got your noodles there. They're cooking out the back. It's quite dark in here. Obviously because of the storm and everything, it's a bit dark. Boys are getting a drink and I've just ordered four portions of cow pat, which is a fried rice. We've got two noodles for me and Car, and I've ordered something else for me, Mookrop. I'm gonna give him a checkers with bottle tops. Just had an idea what I'll get them for what, what they could get for Christmas next year. So that's breakfast sorted. 
Back to HQ. Well, we just got back home. Time to have breakfast. I'll show you what I got. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah. Okay. You okay? Let's have a look at your hairstyle today. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Tents back up for the boys. That's what I got for the kids. Cowpat moo. Pork egg fried rice, pretty much. That's all it is. And beef noodles for me and Car. It looks a bit murky because they actually put blood, blood in it. I know, yummy. It's only the same as black pud, really, isn't it? It's a bit dark and you've just had a power cut. So that's why I've come ne in the bedroom next to the window just to get a bit of light. So it's nice, so I'm gonna go and eat this because I'm hungry. So I'll catch you in a bit. Storms are coming.